Hi, I'm Turk Strongman at Theron Q. Ramacharaka. Thank you for selecting this video on, let's say, fear of others and doubt over others, uncertainty over others, uh, hesitancy, psychological auto guard against others, at least here in the United States, and maybe a suggestion of what to do about it. Video. Thank you. Before going on, though, look, if by the end of the video you found you like it, please give it a thumb up. I'll remind you later, too. If you haven't done so already, then please subscribe to the channel now. Activate the notification bell feature. And, of course, share the joy of the channel with others. And now, with those things having been humbly requested, on with the show. All right, look, I'm going to read you something here to get started. It'll be the main part of the video. It's uh, about a page from uh, the book Remote Viewing by Tim Reifert, <clears throat> 2001. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is a little section called Psychotronic Mind Control. You'll find that this is relevant when it's done, by the time it's done. Uh, the Russian newspaper is Vestia carried an article in its 24th September 1997 edition headline that they could produce zombies in the USSR. The article outlined the KGB and Red Army's experiments aimed at using hypnotic warfare against the West. <clears throat> Excuse me. Psychotronic satellites capable of, re of releasing electronic mind-bending signals to control and correct the behavior of the population over an area the size of England were revealed. The Russian woodpecker, a psychotronic mind control array of transmitters, was the most powerful non-ionizing transmitter in the world, powered by the Chernobyl nuclear power complex, the largest in the world, and was alleged to have changed the mind state of the entire Western population. Its signals turned them over a period of decades from sane people to unstable and mentally disturbed all by means of psychotronic modification. To begin this story, a strange signal that disrupted shortwave transmissions around the world and which persisted until the collapse of the Soviet Union, and that was named Woodpecker, due to its pulse modulation of 10 hertz, was detected in the early 80s. It emitted a peak estimated power of 14 million watts per pulse at frequencies between 3.26 and 17.54 megahertz, making it the most powerful man-made, non-nuclear, non-ionizing radiation source on the planet. Psychotronic emissions were beamed in the direction of, the West, of Western Europe, Australia, North America, and the Middle East. These emissions permeated all obstacles and were conducted in, and were uh, conducted into homes via the power lines of that nation's national grid. They were capable of penetrating underwater and even shielded bunkers. And with this development, the Soviets had discovered a method of affecting the neurological functioning of entire populations. Woodpecker had been designed to alter the brain functions of NATO populations by using ELF uh, modulated signals in e extremely low frequency modulated signals. When broadcast at test victims, it was found that these extremely long frequency waves could penetrate the skull and change behavior in the brain. Of particular interest to the KGB scientists were the brainwave maps of pathological criminals, hopelessly depressed mental patients, and socio-psychopaths who had no regard for anyone but themselves. The Soviets hoped to permanently rewire the neural networks in the brains of the entire Western population, thereby destroying their social cohesiveness by beaming the brain frequencies of insane criminals at NATO. These ELF, the, this ELF barrage was intended to make these aberrant mental states much more common in Western populations. Year after year, these pathological ELF-modulated psychotronic emissions were beamed at the West. 
In time, the constant electromagnetic stimulation of people's brains resulted in permanent adverse effects on the social fabric of the West. In effect, these mind-controlled commands became memes, that is, mental and behavioral viruses, which spread throughout the Western world. All right. This video is about an acquired, well, by now perhaps, almost, in, I guess, inherent <clears throat> fear of others. I remember the Beatles lyrics, all the lonely people, where do they all come from? Where do they all belong? <clears throat> when we walk down the streets, we seem to have apprehension with respect to other people. Not much else, but people. <clears throat> we hesitate when strangers speak to us. Our guard goes up. I call it psychological auto guard. And why would we learn such a thing? Well, we learn it from, uh, from others when we're children. But we also learn it on our own as well throughout our lives because we find that open trust or just or, or right out of the gate friendly rapport with others who were strangers a moment ago often does not pay off very well. Well, let's. What's this have to do with my channel? on self-mastery, personal uh, involvement, and the establishment of true self -will. And uh, on the other hand, away from consciousness hijacking and perception deception. Now, this whole woodpecker thing sounds like a, a hell of a, a uh, consciousness hijacking method and uh, a, a hell of a Perception deception mechanism. Well, shit like this, that's not the only thing, you know. I mean, consciousness hijacking and perception deception, just take a look at other people and the things they do individually and in groups regarding <coughs> psychological attacks on fellow citizens. <clears throat> it's galore. So if you can find, what's that have to do with my channel? Yeah. If you find yourself in a constant apprehensive state of mind regarding other people to the point and so long now and to the extent in which you barely notice it anymore. I mean, you've established a baseline that's up pretty high. In other words, uh, it's a cumulative effect. You know, like cumulative stress. You know, your your baseline, like your de-stressed moments, are up pretty high in the stress scale. But that feels like down here to you because it's been raising. The bar has been raising. You know, like cumulative stress keeps adding up. You know, you might get rid of a bit of the stress today from the day, but not all of it. So it still sits there like a layer of sediment at the bottom of the ocean. And, you know, they just keep piling up. All right. Same with this, this other effect. <clears throat> you barely notice, perhaps, your state of caution and fear and even feelings of animosity and, and maybe fierceness toward, if not behavior, toward others. Just at the supermarket or whatever, in a parking lot. Okay, so this is not a healthy state. It's a consciousness hijacked state. It's a perception deception state of mind. It's um, and it's, it's unhealthy. It's fear-based. It's, it's fear and animosity. Fear and, let's say, a touch of hatred. Feeling like attacking, even 
whether verbally or not, you know, uh, um, verbally or otherwise, but moreover, just the feeling of being other people's prey or them intending you to be somehow prey. Um, if you have, if you can discover that you have become adjusted to such a state of mind, and even if not adjusted, but it's, it just bothers you, but you notice it's there, then try your best. I don't have an antidote right here. I'll come up with something. But, you know, everything else here on my channel will give you the methods, okay? But here's another application then and intent of yours, a, a suggested intention of yours to use all the tools, techniques on this channel to somehow attenuate, decrease, minimize, abolish this state of mind about others in a beneficial way such that you can still navigate and be safe, maintain your personal integrity and security at the same time around others and, and be just as safe but without you know all of this acquired mental condition then do that that's much healthier that's a much more self mastery oriented way to go state of mind that's all I have to say about that. Now, did you like the video? Eh? Then give it a thumb up, remember? And if you haven't done so already, like at the beginning of the video, then please take the time right now, while you're right here, subscribe to the channel, activate the notification bell feature, and always share the joy of the channel with others. You heard it right here at Frankie Ramachuraka. I'm Ter Strongman. Go be well.